So people asking about the uh, oil cooler mod for the 330CIs, uh, if you've got an M3 of course you've already got the, uh, the tap offs for that um, and they run um, an oil cooler just down at the base here below the radiator. Um, you don't have that luxury, you can replace it of course with the uh, E36 M3 filter housing, it starts to get really expensive. Uh, what I wanted was something that worked just as effective. Uh, I didn't want to run a, a thermostat, so these lines are open all the time. Um, and all I do um, on this, I've designed just a little aluminium uh, cover for the uh, for the Mocal. There it is, uh, 235 mils wide and 19 rows. Uh, the supply um, is at the bottom and the return is at the top. The reason it's wired that way around is so that the uh, the oil pressure and the flow naturally um, bleeds it because it's sat in a in a vertical. Um, you'd never ever mount them upside down, too hard to bleed, um, but it just so happens there's a there was an existing bolt here um, that fixed it nicely. I attached uh, another bolt there and another one down here and that sorry and another one uh, down here uh, that attaches it really really nice to this uh, cross panel of course that's where the air conditioning um, cooler would have been um, and the AC has been deleted on this car that's absolutely not necessary um, AN10 lines um, just snake their way down nicely um, thought about going the other way there's too much in the way so it works really really well I'm just going down this way and curling back up keeping it simple uh, the gauges just a simple temperature and pressure gauge and uh, this switch just effectively grounds this wire um, for the uh, the warning for the car tech uh, shift lights fairly simple installation um, took all but about uh, two hours to do um, cost effective and it works really nicely so here's the Mocal uh, 19 row uh, 235 mil um, it's got the JIC 10 or AN 10 fittings so that's the same as the oil filter housing uh, there's the return line you might just catch a, a glimpse of the feed line down there um, it's a used one I got off eBay uh, cost half the price of a new one uh, and works really well you'll see part of it is uh, is covered um, which is why I went for the the slightly um, the slightly wider one the 19 row you might get away with the 10 um, or I believe it might even be a 16 row as well um, but on this one the cars gonna run for a long time uh, it's gonna run flat out up to max revs especially in the club enduro races of two hours so i went for uh, slightly larger i can always downsize it if need be but at the end of the day uh, i want the oil to remain fairly cool so here's just a short video to show you how the warning lights work on the car tech um, we saw that sensor that's grounded when it's low pressure uh, flashing lights uh, you start the car and uh, they go out completely independent of course to the shift lights um, I've remounted those now, but there's the uh, temperature and the pressure from the other two sensors. So, all in all, not a bad little setup.